Well, the first time I got a splinter in it. And uh, I never did get it out. I don't think it ever came out. That's why I think it's, that's why I think it might have came back. But anyway, it just okay. started Sorry. getting I in the kitchen. Can we drop it in there? Yes. I think Christmas fine. I'm sorry? <laughs> I think Christmas fine. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. I hope so. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. So we can see all the redness and swelling. This yeah. little digit. We already did an x ray, and the x ray did not show any kind of bone infection. I need you to keep your hand like flat like this, if you can, the other way. Palm up. All right, let's keep this away. You're going to feel a pinch right here, and, that, and that's um, we're going to do a digital block to numb that finger. And this kind of infection is not just like a cellulitis or, or a paronychia, this is actually a felon. It's the whole pulp of the fingers infected. Now, as reminding other videos, you see me, I'm sterile gloves and I'm touching fingers that are not sterile or anything. This is not a sterile procedure, it's a clean procedure. So I just wiped uh, the skin with the alcohol and I'm going to inject it right at the base, pointing towards the joint. Sir, you're going to feel a pinch. It's okay to flinch, but don't pull back. One, two, and there you go. Good job. Pull back and then we we'll start coming in. There we go. It, it does burn. And then we do it like it's called a thico block because you're doing it in one spot, but actually we'll infiltrate and go around the whole finger, numbing it up. Make sure I put plenty in there. So far it's like four cc's. And that's just plain lidocaine, no epinephrine. And this is a one percent lidocaine. You can see the fingers actually turn a little purple because when we inject that it creates some pressure on the arteries and stuff, so the blood flow initially goes down a little bit. It's turning a little more purple. We're going to be doing an incision and drainage, and we're going to choose this area right here to kind of cut it open and see what we get out. He says that he's concerned about possible foreign bodies being in there, and certainly it's one of the things we're going to try to figure out. Now, we did an x-ray that was read by the radiologist, and he did not see any foreign bodies. That doesn't mean there isn't one. It's less probable, but it could be a not radiodense foreign body. Here's the blade we're going to use to cut. We have some uh, Q-tips for the dissection, opening things up. We have swabs, four cultures, ready. And uh, these for blood dissection and things like that. How is it feeling? Is it feeling any numb? A little numb. A lot numb, actually. Good, good. Well, you'll know. What it'll do is I'll fit. Well, if you feel that. Oh, I do. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. How about right there? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's tender. We'll wait a little bit longer. Make sure you're numb. Um, if you don't get numb with that block, we could try it again, or we can just do some local injection. Just go right here and put some medicine. That works better locally, but it, it disturbs the area that we are going to try to drain. So. And got some saline for irrigation. You can still feel it. Let me, I'm just going to touch the skin. Now I know you said you weren't numb, so yeah, it's yeah, sensitive. And we save the, the lidocaine and the needle. Okay. Pinch and a burn. Mm. I don't know. So. Mm. Ah, oh, mm. oh. You can see right there the air is getting oh. clenched. Oh, ah, whoa, mm. that shut out, but it didn't get me. <laughs> mm. 